station subcarrier detected, emanating from Zendera. Zendarian leader requests teleconference with commander. I offer you the chance to have it all now. Power, like you've never dreamed of. Anything you want, everything you want. All yours. Zendarian leader requesting teleconference with commander. Just for joining us in our empire. As we are ruling the universe. You can be with us now. What do you expect to accomplish? I realize with my spaceships out there, you cannot destroy us. We shall have to keep your defense shields inactive. my power, my energy levels will hold. I don't understand, what is your purpose? Time. I need time to convince you of the situation that this planet is now under. Commander, I cannot follow your rule because this planet has now come into another awareness, a new awareness, and this awareness is of the light. Just recently, we have made contact with a beautiful high, high spiritual planet. And in this contact, we have been met by a beautiful archangel. And she tells us of a higher way of life, a more progressive way of life. I've been told that I have been a negative leader, but now she teaches us another way, another higher way, a way in which we can learn to live in harmony with our fellow man and not kill. I've taught my people to kill, but no more. Please, Commander, give us a chance to progress. Give me a chance to teach my people this new light which I am now coming into an awareness of. You speak of peace and progression Beams. You don't want any of that. I'm a god in my own right. I have power over you. You're nothing to me. You're in my way, and I'll get rid of you. beautiful contact with these higher beings? Have they not come to you? Have you not felt them in your heart and in your soul? If you have had a vision, why have you not given your all to it? Is some dark negative force blocking you from realizing how you really feel? And you know that killing is negative. And you know that destroying us is negative. Please, Commander, I beg you, let us follow the light and the truth. Oh, shit. 
flight commander, no sign of danger, up to four zero zero seven drivers. Please, commander, heed our plea. People like you threaten people like me. into the Gameron field. Dear brother, we lighted ones are with you and with all of your people. Fear not. Come with us into the world of spirit. just as much as a shock for you as it was for those killed. The reality of what you had done began to sink in, and the human side of you was showing. But it was too late. They were all physically dead. Zan, you were nothing more than a mere puppet for those above you, and all those involved carry the same karma. But you pressed the button. And the horror of this deed has remained with you for all of these thousands of years, and thousands of years to come, unless you heed we brothers of light. From there you fought other space battles, as did many souls hungry for this dark power. You were untouchable in space, and had your enormous power. But there on land, you were defeated and suffered a bloody and emotional death. But you killed yourself back there on that ship with those four billion people. The difference is that you died evolutionary-wise. And ever since then, my young brother, you have been too guilty to face we of the light. But remember, we have compassion and understanding for all souls of the infinite. But because you would not face and listen to us, you degenerated to this very low state of consciousness. 